it's uh it takes me away from everything it's like my meditation i guess you know um, when i'm here nothing else really matters when i'm having a bad day i go here you know it saves me all around grew up in kendall um, most of my life moved around uh, here and there lived in colorado for a little bit and i lived in new york city for a little bit I hate to say it, but graffiti changed my life in a way. So I would say like punk rock and rock and roll changed my life in a way. Because it taught me to like be different, I guess, and to like rebel. And um, that's where I, I guess I found myself, you know. Um, so, it, you know, it opened, it opened my eyes to the arts, and, uh, which later on, became an obsession of just creating. When I first started, uh, I had no idea what I was doing really. So my philosophy would be like, just go with the flow, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Now, it's kind of like, uh, I get most of my ideas now, right before I go to sleep. Like, you know, when you're about to get into REM, uh, I get most of my ideas, you know, and I like either get up and like jot it down or just like try to remember it the next day. But, um, yeah, now I guess I have more of a control over what I'm doing. So, you know, I'll kind of like visualize it. I don't really sketch it out. I just kind of like from here to there, put it out. So when I first started painting, uh, it was mostly uh, spray paint and markers. Uh, and that limited me to creating other things because um, there's certain mediums that you, you know, these, don't apply to or like don't stick on very well so it makes it difficult to create so um, uh, my mentor and like my best friend you know all my buddies that paint they all use brushes and I had this big you know fear of using them because I sucked at it um, so I dedicated like you know a few months of just like drawing and tracing my drawing through a brush to like just learn how it works and whatnot uh, and that saved me um, the art just started going other directions because I was capable to do things that I couldn't do before or, um, or just create things that, I don't know, I had no plans on creating. It just like opened up a lot of doors for me. So I gotta give a huge shout out to the brushes. My style has changed a few times. Now, I would like to call it, you know, between psychedelics and lowbrow. And what lowbrow is, it's like, you know, you had uh, in the 1970s in California, you know, the surf movement, the skateboard movement. So you had like, you know, this kind of skateboard surf art coming out, and that's where lowbrow came from. And it's totally up my alley uh, because I'm into all that. So it's just like, uh, it's just like music on paper.